The time has come that we need to replace the blade on our, our table saw. Uh, this is a 10 inch blade with a 5 8 inch arbor. So I got myself a nice new shiny 10 inch blade. The tools you well need is an adjustable wrench and probably a Phillips head screwdriver. The tools you might possibly need are a tent stake, a six inch clamp, and a pair of vice grips. So with that said, let's get dirty. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is we need to back out this screw right here. Uh, this is the screw that holds the throat plate into place. You may have multiple screws. Um, this one just has one. I'm doing this on a Craftsman 113 series. But the concepts are all the same. So we have the throat plate removed. Now we need to take off this bolt or this nut right here. Now to do that, I'm going to use this uh, uh, steel tent stake here. And I'm just going to put one of the grooves into the tent stake to hold it. Now I can take my wrench and get this nut off. Okay, so once I have it loose, I'm going to back it out all the way. And then you'll have probably have a washer similar to that that holds the blade. So now I can take this blade off. Now the reason I have some tools as optional is on the newer table saws, they probably have some sort of locking mechanism for the for the blade or the motor. So you can just push a button to lock it and then back the the nut off. Um, but this is a belt drive type table saw and it does not have that type of locking mechanism. So I have the new blade on. I just put the washer on. Now I will put the nut back on and I'm just going to put it on until it is hand tight. Okay, so now if your blade happens to have some sort of hook or something that we can use, again, this tent stake for to hold it into place, that's great. If it doesn't, like on this blade here, there's no backwards hook that I can uh, catch on to that. In that scenario, so in that case, I would use this vice grip and I would clamp it very tightly onto the blade. I would then use a clamp to hold the vice grip and then I would tighten down my nut. But because this particular blade does have a hook I can hook onto with the tent stake, I'm just going to go ahead and use that. So now I'm going to tighten it down. So when I'm tightening this down, I'm not trying to hulk it. I just want to get it nice and tight. So I'm not over tightening it. Okay, so now that I have it nice and tight, I can put the throat plate back on. And then I can buckle down this screw here. Again, you may have multiple screws and that's okay. Just back out all the screws that are necessary to remove your throat plate. And it's done. So now when I'm using this table saw, if I'm running a piece of wood through and the motor's spinning but the blade isn't, that means I don't have it tight enough. So I would shut off my saw remove the wood, remove the throw plate, and put just a little bit more torque on it. There we go, blade is replaced, relatively painless. It's actually pretty quick. I went with a 27 uh, tooth blade on this replacement. Uh, it's usually about what I run. My table saw pretty much just takes care of all of my ripping needs. Uh, I use my, my miter saw to take care of all my cross cutting. 
if you use your table saw to rip and cross cut, then I would probably bump this up to a 40 tooth blade. Otherwise, pretty simple. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon to be notified of new episodes as they become available. If you're new to the woodworking hobby, check out my Woodworking for Beginners video series. It's a 12-part series, step-by-step -step instructions. Gives you all the, the basics for, for woodworking that get you up and running. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to post them in the comments section. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Uh, if you'd like to support my channel, I'll put a link in the description to make a donation. Also, feel free to uh, share me on your social media sites. That is a big help. Until next time, keep it safe.